So we are going to start in Mocha now. Uh, we need to import the clip that we have exported from Resolve in the previous video. So um, let's start here and uh, go to File, New Project. Now I would use the EXR file sequence that we created in Resolve, but because I'm recording and uh, EXR is quite rich in terms of information, which is the good thing about it, I'm not going to use that for the demonstration purposes. What I have done offline is created a JPEG sequence. So I'll use that for this and then actually use uh, EXR file for my final project. So nothing will be lost. It's just the different um, file format that I'm using. So here I have the image sequence. I'll uh, start, open. And the frame rate is correct. It's HD resolution and there are 300 frames, 302 frames. So we're going to start fresh and here we go. So we have all these cars. So what is our goal here? Um, after these bunch of cars and the truck, what I would like to do is remove this blue car, the white car and this gray car and then there is nothing for a while, right? So that's what we want to do after this truck. We don't want to see any cars. So how do we do that? We need to tell Mocha that in this section of the shot, when this collection of pixels are moving across the frame, we need to remove them and replace with something. And that something is actually behind this car, right? So we want to for example, when this car is here, what we would like to see instead of the car, we would like to see this part here, right? So that way the car would be removed. And that's a dynamic process because we want to see this at every frame. So that's what we need to tell Mocha. So we need to isolate the car and we need to isolate the background so that Mocha can do its magic um, at every frame and replace. Now, the tricky part is when this car is actually entering the frame, we want to start removing from here, right? But if you say that everything else is background and this is what I want to remove, this truck is going to get in the way because truck is not part of the background. So we need to isolate the truck if we start at this frame. Or actually, if we start here, we need to isolate, you know, truck from here and so forth. So what it means is that we would need to first isolate the truck. So let me just get truck in the middle and start masking it. And one good thing about this workflow here is that you don't really need to um, be very precise in terms of uh, masking the object. What is important is that you completely cover it so that uh, there is no part of this truck that is that can be misunderstood by Mocha as part of the background. Now I have extended this part here because there is this shadow. I don't know how far the shadow is going to go. So let's do one frame at a time for the time being. So I'm tracking it for one frame and you can see that, that as the truck is moving my mask is automatically moving. I don't really need to reset the points. I just want to see if I have completely covered my shadow here. Um, it looks like we have. So I'll just keep going. You can easily do this, uh, um, the track forward using this button here, but since this is not really a huge, um, huge uh, shot, you know, in terms of the uh, number of frames. I'm just doing it manually. As you can see, as the truck has left mostly the um, um, the frame, you know, my, my mask is getting confused as to, you know, what it should be tracking. Now I need to adjust it somewhere here because I moved the points. We haven't really tracked all these frames back, so we don't worry about that for now. Forward frames, we just want to make sure that the 
truck is completely covered and the shadow is covered let's just go back and make sure that we have covered everything yeah it seems that way now forward let's expand this cars are not going to be as uh, difficult because they're small objects and they will be tracked perfectly when we uh, leave it up to uh, Mocha. The reason why this truck is giving us a little bit of hard time is because of the size of the truck. Most of the truck is out of the frame at this point so Mocha needs some help as to what do we what do we need to continue to track because the object that it was tracking is has left significantly the um, uh, the frame itself. So okay, let's move this a little. And as I'm moving these points, it's actually setting a keyframe on every point. You can see they're all turning white, uh, showing that uh, there is a keyframe set. Now they're blue right now. As soon as I move this a little, you will see that they're all turning white. So I don't have to worry about setting a frame on each one of them. Yep, I think this should do. And the last I'm going to take this out. Yep. So now we got all these things tracked. So hopefully we have the entire wall here. It looks like we missed the truck a little bit. Now we need to do the back frame. So here we are and we're going to track back frame by frame. Let's get this out a little bit because the motion blur is getting in the way. Yeah, so at this point I'll just move these points a little bit so they are outside the frame. I don't need to track any further. And here they are. So now we have this truck pretty much done. I'm going to name this truck isolate. Now we need to create another mask for this car. So I'll just do this car once and then um, then we'll I'll, I'll do the rest of the cars offline. Actually let me just do this one because it uh, this will be it's very quick and easy. So create another mask here for this car and the shadow so I'm going to do track backward first let's just make sure that we are still okay from the motion blur standpoint okay so now I'm going to do a couple of frames manually one two maybe one more and here we don't need the mask okay so now let's move forward come to the key frame here and then I'm going to track forward now and there it goes so here I'll just move this a little bit and then the next frame should be completely out so this is how I will do all the other cars and I'll come right back before we do the background tracking okay so I have isolated the three cars that we want to remove and also the truck that we wanted to isolate uh, Mocha doesn't get confused with uh, with the background okay so now is the time to tell Mocha what do we want to replace this pixels with and that is the background so what we'll do is uh, we'll start here because this is where we would start replacing so I would want to give them a couple of frames to Mocha and let's say we start at 130 frame number 130 um, let's uh, create a mask and that mask is going to be going about this um, you know the highest pixel that we want to uh, isolate and let's just create a few points here I'm going to give a little room on uh, on the right hand side because our frames are moving in that direction so when the tracking actually starts 
you will see that this uh, rectangular shape will start to shift towards the left and we want to make sure that there is enough room here so that it can continue to fill the um, the frame all right so this is what we what we want to track so uh, let's call this background and I would like this background to be at the bottom here because that's how mocha would uh, work and um, let me turn on my um, mask here so it has translucent um, uh, polygon and I'm going to s um, change this option to um, uh, isolate what we don't want tracked at this point so the way mocha works is that right now I want to track the background but I have told mocha that all these other masks that are in the way you know ignore those so as it tracks you know it will not track this um, uh, mask area so let's go back to our frame 130 and um, start tracking I'm going to just track forward at this point now this will be a little slower so as this couple of frames go by I'll pause and then come back when the tracking is done alright so what I have done is from frame 130 to frame 200 is what I have tracked as the background so you can see that my um, rectangular shape here is uh, sort of behaving as if it is part of the scene and it's you know moving forward and Mocha has already isolated the pixels that we didn't want uh, tracked as a part of the uh, the masking. So now the magic time. So what we want to tell Mocha is um, we want to remove a particular car. So this car for example. So what we are going to do is um, quite simply you just go to remove module. right? I'm not going to go through all these um, technical details here. Let's just first hit this um, remove um, in the current frame so I'm going to render the current frame basically and you will see as soon as it is done the car is removed so let me now not do the masking here so if you look at the frame before this one where there is car and no car and you can see that this particular part of the barrier that has this dark line that line is already visible here so you can see that you know there is no information lost now what I'll do is um, render forward and what it basically is doing is removing car from every frame that it is encountering and Mocha is replacing that with the background that was visible you know in one of the frames that we um, you know, it's taking information from alright so all these frames as you can see um, let me just make it invisible here so you can see that the car is removed for all these things and as soon as I go back you will see the car is back and it just got removed at this frame here so now we'll do the same thing going back we'll remove backwards here so it will just do exactly the same thing you know it will look at every frame calculate what needs to be replaced and with what and all that and it will just do the magic all right so let's see so now I'm going to make it invisible again so we can see how it looks now um, the car is removed except for this frame for some reason so let's just uh, remove it here also yeah now it's gone so let's take a look at it so the car is gone and the background is replaced successfully but I noticed a little bit of artifact here um, as you can see our masking hasn't completely worked out so it's probably replacing that frame with something that still has a, a, a part of the car that wasn't completely uh, masked out so what we have to do in that case is it was probably it's taking information from here maybe something like this you can also paint out inside of fusion so I wouldn't really worry about spending too much time in correcting this um, it's so little and in only three or four frames that we can easily uh, replace that inside of fusion so let's take a look at this white car and again do the same thing go to the remove module we are already there and um, we, yep we are um, right now working on this white car so that's good and just let's test out the current frame 
there it goes that car is removed and I'll do the same thing with um, with the blue car, uh, the gray car as well so let me just pause and then get all these cars removed and then we'll look at the uh, the frame all right so I have removed all the cars so let's see how it looks so here's the truck and here used to be the car but it's not there anymore and here is another car that used to be there it's not there anymore oh it's one frame that we have left let's just remove this frame okay so that's gone just make sure that it's completely gone yep so let's lock it again and the other car that was there um, the gray car which is not there anymore so we have successfully removed these three cars without creating any issues except for this one little noise here that we have created because of our masking uh, and the isolation of the background didn't really work perfectly but I'm not going to actually correct it here in Mocha I'll fix it I if this turns out to be a problem in my final uh, EXR sequence then I'll just deal with it in uh, Fusion because it's uh, as you can see I only need to worry about maybe one two three four yeah four frames that I can easily do in uh, Fusion. All right, so next I'm going to remove this truck that comes at the end exactly the same way that we just did everything else. Um, so that for that I'm not going to show the the technique in this video because you already know how to do it, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, thanks.